That is so interesting. So does that does that change the marketing funnel? I, I mean, we go back and forth between the points. We don't just go from awareness to interest to desire and blah, blah, blah. We go back and forth. But is that changing the shape of the funnel? Are people bouncing all over the place within that? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I mean, the availability of information and the way over the last decade that um, people have gotten information, how that's transformed, we've really kind of blown up the concept of a marketing funnel. Um, at the Abbey Agency, we um, talk in terms of the micro moments life cycle. Um, so we know that a traveler hits a number of different milestones, you can call them, as they go through their booking process, but it's not as linear as it used to be so it it used to be we go from awareness to engagement to conversion now like you just said they might bounce around i might be looking at hotels and then pull back up and think about a whole different destination um, putting me back up at that inspiration level so it's very very complicated um to our team works really hard and, and i think a lot of effective teams out there um to look at all of the data of behavioral data um it, demographic data, um, search data, all of these different pieces to try and figure out where is that traveler right now? Are they dreaming? Are they planning? Are they booking? Or are they actually in market experiencing? Because at each of those stages, you have to be serving up different messages and engaging them in different ways.